Hi everyone. Welcome to SP online video sessions. Today we are going to discuss the second part of the inverse of a matrix. In the last class, uh, we discussed the inverse of a matrix and how to find the inverse by using the adjoint method. So we proved a theorem that a matrix is invertible. The matrix is invertible if and only if if and only if determinant of A is not equal to zero. From this uh, we can conclude that if determinant of A for A is non-singular if and only if determinant of A not equal to zero. That is if A is singular if and only if determinant of A is equal to zero. That means if determinant of A equal to zero, then the matrix A is singular. That is A has no inverse, <coughs> okay? Now, uh, we're going to discuss uh, the another method for finding the inverse, that is row operations method. Row operations method. Suppose we have a matrix A. Let A be the matrix A11, A12, etc. A1n, A21, A22, etc. A2n, and so on. An1, An2, etc. Anm. So A is a, a, <laughs> a is an n by n matrix. Such that determinant of A is not equal to zero. <coughs> so, from the above theorem, uh, from the previous theorem, we have uh, A has an inverse. If we can uh, convert this matrix A uh, into an identity matrix of order N uh, by using row operations, then uh, we can find the inverse of this A. That is, uh, to find that the inverse, we just uh, convert this matrix A into the identity matrix. And by using the same operations, we just, uh, or using the same operations, convert this identity matrix, another identity matrix into a matrix. That matrix will be A inverse. Okay. So, uh, we can discuss this. Uh, with a uh, with a problem, <coughs> uh, uh, the method is we are taking the matrix A along with the identity matrix of order n. So A is of order n. Now, so this is n by n matrix, and this is also n by n matrix. So this A i is uh, a n by two n matrix. N by two n matrix. Now we are uh, using the row operations to this matrix to convert. This is I and this will be A inverse. This is the process. Okay. Now using the row operations, operations we are converting this matrix A to the identity matrix, and uh, consequently we will get the matrix I is converted into the matrix A inverse. So we can do a problem. Find the inverse of inverse of matrix K is equal to two zero one minus two three four minus five five six by using row operations method. Okay. By using this method, we are going to uh, find the inverse of this one. Okay, so we are taking, this is A, now we are taking the matrix A. With the, we are augmenting the, mat augmenting the matrix I with A, 
that is nothing but this 2 0 1 minus 2 3 4 minus 5 5 6 with the, the identity matrix is 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 this is, this is the matrix so this is equivalent so we have to apply the row operations here so first we are applying we are uh, trying to make this part is one so the operation will be r1 changes to r1 divided by 2 right <coughs> r1 changes to r1 by 2 so this can be written as 1 and 0 by 2, 1 by 2, which is 1 by 2, 0, 0. The other rows are 3, minus 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 0, 5, 5, 6, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So we are going to convert this part to uh, an identity matrix i. So consequently, we get this part will be the inverse. Okay. Next transformation will be one here. Or with the next transformation, we need to uh, make this as zero, this and this. So we can use this transformation. So first row is one, zero, one by two. We are writing the row as such. And second row, we can transform like that. R2 changes to R2 plus two R1. So here is minus two adding 2 will get this 0. So minus 2 plus 2 is 0. 3 plus 2 is 0. Plus 0 is 3. 4 uh, plus 1, that is 5. Right. 0 plus 2 into this 1. Next 1 plus 0. 0. I just apply this transformation here. Now uh, to make this uh, term is 0, we can apply this transformation R3 changes to R3. This is minus 5, so we need to add plus 5 also. 5 into R1. R3 plus 5 into R1. So this is the transformation. So uh, when applying this transformation, we get minus 5 plus 5 is 0. 5 plus 0, 0, 6 plus 5 by 2, right? 6 plus 5 by 2, that is 6 plus 5 by 2, that is 17 by 2. So this is 17 by 2 here. So now 0 plus 5 by 2, so this is 5 by 2, and 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 0, 0. Now, the next step is first row is 1, 0, 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 0, 0. Now, the uh, to make this part is identity matrix, so we have to convert this as uh, 1. So, we can use this R2 changes to R2 by 3. So this will be 0 by 3. 3 by 3 is 1. 5 by 3. There is 1 by 3. 1 by 3. 0. 0 by 3. It will be R3 changes to 3 by 5. Okay. So we are dividing this to, uh, to make it 1. So this will be. So R3 changes to R3 divided by 5, that is 0. 5 by 5 is 1. This is for uh, subtracting this. So 17 by 2 divided by 5, that is 17 by 10. And this is 5 by 2 divided by 5, that is uh, 1 by 2. And this is 0, 1 by 5. Right? So next is. Now we can subtract, we can make this as 0 by subtracting this from this. So uh, the operation will be R3 changes to R3 minus 2. So now changing first row. 
and by two zero 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 and second and no change in second row also zero and third row is R three minus R two so zero minus zero is zero one minus one minus zero seventeen by ten minus five by three uh, that is seventeen minus seventeen by seventeen by ten That is uh, one by thirteen, right? Right. Thirty. And this is one by two minus one by two is one by. This seventeen by ten by three. That is okay. Seventeen by thirteen. This uh, now forty-five minus uh, forty-nine minus. So fifty one minus so this is one by thirty. Okay, one by thirty. Remember, one by two minus one by three is one by six. Zero minus one by three is minus three. One by five minus zero is one by five. Now we need to convert this as one, so we can multiply to third row to thirty. Uh, so next is R three changes to R three into for 30 r so this is 10102 this first row and second row no changes see 1 3 0 0 0 we are multiplying this with 30 so this will be 1 uh, 5 this is 10 and this is 6 So next, now by using this third row, by using this third row, we need to change these two as zeros. Okay, one by two and five by three are zeros. So uh, the operations will be R one changes to. So we are uh, not making any change in third row. Minus this. For R one changes to R one minus one by two into. So that is one minus zero. Zero minus zero is zero. So one by two. Uh, one by two minus one. Uh, okay. One by two minus one by two is zero. Now here is one by two. One by two minus one by two into R three. R three is five. One by two into five by three. So one by two into one minus. Five that is four minus four by two that is minus minus two. Okay. Now this is zero minus zero minus ten into that is plus five. Then zero minus six by two that is zero minus three that is minus three. Now this row, so second row can be changes as R two changes to R two minus. We need to change this as zero. So five by three into R three. Okay. So this is zero minus zero, one minus zero is zero. Five by three minus five by three. So, but this is one. This is zero. This is one by three uh, minus five by three into R three. At least five. This one by three minus uh, twenty-five by three. That is seventy. Sorry, this is minus eight. And next is one uh, by three plus ten into five by three. Okay, zero minus five by this is zero minus five by three into six. That is ten. Zero minus ten. Okay. So uh, from this, so this is of the form. This is this this left side is. Matrix I, this I three, finite matrix. So this will be the A inverse. So uh, we converted A I into uh, I A inverse. So A inverse is four. Uh, A inverse is the matrix two five minus three eight in ten five ten. So this is 
the inverse of this matrix. This method is called the uh, raw operations method. Okay. Next one. Next one more question. <laughs> Show that the matrix A one minus two one minus one two four five six zero minus two has no inverse. No inverse. Okay, so uh, we need to show that this matrix A has no inverse by using the this Jebo method. By using uh, the row operations method. Okay. Row operations method. Okay, so you just convert this matrix AI. We we'll just try to convert this matrix uh, to I A inverse. Okay, so if you if you if you can convert this matrix A into the matrix I, then A is invertible and this right side will be the inverse of A. If you uh, you cannot convert A into the matrix I, then we can conclude that A is not invertible. Okay? So we, uh, I am leaving this you uh, this as a homework for you. You just try to convert this uh, as in the above problem to this. So uh, you will not get the inverse of this. Uh, if you are using the previous method, uh, we can we can just find uh, the determinant of a. Actually, determinant of a is equal to zero here. So the inverse does not exist. But in this method, you have to uh, convert. You have to try to convert this into this matrix. So you just try uh, this method, and uh, uh, you will get after some uh, sequence of operations, you will get this one minus one minus two zero six nine zero zero zero, zero. and uh, the second part will be one zero zero minus two one zero minus four minus one. I'm leaving this uh, for you. So if you are converting, trying to convert by using a sequence of uh, operations, you'll get this. So the third row will will be zero. So uh, that means determinant of an optical mm -hmm. equal to zero. Or uh, we cannot convert this uh, into matrix i. This is not i uh, because this, this term is zero, not not one. Okay. So uh, we cannot use this. So this symbolizes uh, this is not i. This is not equal to i. So uh, a is not invertible. Not invertible. So just verify this. Okay then. Uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.